activity for you today, which is about financial literacy. Um, this is a great activity that I'm going to be doing with my kids uh, very shortly. So I created my own fictitious town where the kids are going to go out and experience different types of way of consumerism. Um, so the town obviously is called uh, Welcome to Smallville, my town is Smallville. And I have three different stations, one of which you're going to be looking at markups where you have tip, uh, tax, another station is going to involve unit price, comparing prices from one store to the next to see what the better buy is. And then I have another station where they're going to be visiting Bed Bath & Beyond and applying coupons, so they're looking at discounts, but also looking at markups with tax and things of that nature. I'm going to go through all of those uh, one by one to show you how they work. Uh, I will be sharing some resources out, so as a teacher you can definitely go on there, um, take what you want, uh, make it your own. You can obviously copy it and change the names, make it more personalized for, for your particular classroom. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, the kids really love it because it actually shows them how money works in the real world and how tough it can be to make sure that you're not getting cheated in some places. Um, they, they've done a, a great job so far with it, so I'm really looking forward to it. I hope that you enjoy it as well. Um, so the first thing we have, it says, today you will be taking a trip to Smallville. Here you will be doing some shopping and having some lunch with your friends. Lunch will be at Shorty Small, so I went online and obviously looked for something that would be you know, close to my last name and found a place in Texas called Shorty Smalls. Um, you will need to stop at Bed Bath & Beyond to grab some household items as well. And before going home, you must do some grocery shopping. Enjoy. So here are some of the requirements. So for the Bed Bath & Beyond station, at this particular station, you will need to pick up some items for your home, which were already listed on the worksheet, so they, they, they don't have to really have much of a choice. But you will be allowed to utilize a calculator for this station. I'm going to let them use it for all of them except the unit price, which is just simple division. Um, you're asked to use five 20% off coupons. However, you still have to calculate the tax after finding the subtotal. So all, all keywords that are great for financial literacy. Um, one of the things, and if you're a student watching this, this is a clue for you, that when you're using the five 20% off coupons, you obviously want to use it to your five most expensive um, items. So in that way you save the most amount of money. So keep that in mind. Uh, the next station is our Shulby Smalls restaurant, which I'm actually going to be the server for. You can see I have my fancy uh, apron on. At this station, you will be dining at Chef Smalls, world famous restaurant. You and your friends will need to choose at least one appetizer per table, so that they pick at least one. At most, I think I'm going to have them do two. A drink per person, an entree per person, and then a dessert per person. So tax and tip will not be included, so they will need to calculate the, uh, the, uh, the tax as well and split the bill evenly, which um, I, me as a teacher, I'm gonna be actually there uh, helping them with this, acting as their, their server, but also as uh, someone that can guide them with the practice. I've also provided a formula sheet for the kids in prior lessons, which I will be able to share for you as well, because we will be talking about um, uh, simple interest and also um, uh, commission rates as well. The next station is our thrifty shopper station. So this, the pantry is bare at home, while you're out, you can grab a few food items that you'll need. The catch is that you'll need to decide which is the better buy. The two stores are Small Save-A-Lot or Cos Cosentino Co. Um, that's another teacher we have, so we're trying to make it personal for the kids to get more involved. And you should remember that these are unit prices, so you will need to use the following formula to solve, where you have the price divided by the amount slash quantity. They'll do that, and then they'll make sure that they can pick the one, of, one of the two that are the better buy, and then have a list. Um, so let me uh, stop the video here and I'm going to take you through each station and um, like I said before, I'll share this out. Please make sure that you're subscribing, commenting, liking, all that. It'll definitely help me out along the way. Thanks. All right, one of the stations is our Bed Bath & Beyond station and this is something I just found online um, that you can easily share out. So it says Bed Bath & Beyond is an awesome store from which you can get all your home goods. You'll surely find, um, find yourself there when shopping for your college dorm room. So this is something that we have this list of items here. Um, we already have the subtotals along here on the right. So what they want to do is to calculate <clears throat> the subtotals, all right? Uh, you may use as many coupons that are shown. So I'm, I'm having them use up to five, all right? Then six is a little much. So before they actually add this all up, I would suggest that they, you know, and this is something you can modify, have them highlight, if you're able to work with them in each station, have them highlight which ones are your five most expensive, and then they're gonna have to use the discount formula in order to find out what the new price is. After they get their five items that you're gonna discount at 20% off, I would have them write it here along the side. They could add it up. Um, they're gonna throw their subtotal in, and then with that subtotal, they're gonna do a markup, 
right? Because it's uh, sales tax is 7% and then right what their total is here. So here's uh, on the back, it's a little bit larger for them to use to uh, provide the work. Um, they should be showing all the work, even though if you're allowing them to use a calculator, uh, you could do that as well. Um, I'm personally gonna let them use a calculator um, just because at, at, honestly in the real world, you're probably gonna be use, able to use a calculator for this. But if you wanna differentiate and you have some kids that are a little bit more advanced, you could group them together and uh, have them not use a calculator. All right, for the next station, this is your Shorty Smalls restaurant station. Now, <clears throat> like I said, I wanna share this out and you could change it to any restaurant you want. If you wanna do like a corporate restaurant, or a pizzeria or something that's close by to make it um, a little bit more, you know, generic or uh, personalized for the kids, uh, depending where you live. But I have this menu here that I was able to download from some restaurant called Shorty Smalls. Um, here's all the items. I did have to add uh, a soft drink list on here. Um, so that, that, that I would need, but you wanna make sure that you have a little of everything. You can easy, mani easily manipulate this. Um, and here's the instructions slash worksheet that I'm gonna um, sit with them and go, go over because there could be some issues because there's a lot to go over. Uh, so it says, welcome to Shorty Smalls restaurant, home of the famous onion loaf. Today, you and your classmates are going to get to experience what it is like to go out to eat and actually be the ones paying. Make sure you're checking each other's work so you don't get stuck with the bill. Um, so this would be my, I kind of have a script here, including yourself, how many people will be dining with you. This is something I would say to them and each one of the kids would have this sheet and then they would list that here. So each kid would be responsible for filling that out. Um, then I say, you know, what you typically hear from a server, can I start you off with some drinks? So everyone in the group would look at the drink menu, pick out what the drink is gonna be, and then uh, they would list it here. So <clears throat> I have a group that I would probably only have up to five people at the most. As I share this with everyone, you can easily uh, change this if you have more kids in your class. So once they have their soft drinks there, they should then add up what the price of all the drinks would be together. And then from here, they can choose up to uh, two appetizers per table, um, but they must choose at least one, which is done from the menu. Once again, uh, if you're picking two, you take the total price. <clears throat> and then as I'm bringing it out, you know, typical stuff that the servers would say. And then at this point, the kids will then uh, decide on what their entrees are gonna be. Each kid is gonna pick an entree. They'll add up the total price there. Um, once the entree is done, uh, I don't give the kids an option, but they're gonna have to um, choose a dessert for each of them. Once again, they're gonna uh, take the total price from there. And then this is where the fun starts. So when paying the bill, uh, it's now time to split the bill. It's not easy as you think, especially since you will not be using a calculator. I'm actually gonna, I think, gonna let them use a calculator in this case, but I made this just, just in the event that um, that teachers may not want to. So they're gonna follow the procedures below and make sure no one is trying to dine and dash on them. So you're gonna take all your total price of drinks, plus your appetizers, plus your entrees, and plus your desserts. You get your total. And then the formula is your total times 100%, <clears throat> all within the parentheses, plus your 20% tip and your 7% tax. That will be the total for the bill. And then when they're done, what they're gonna to have to do is, um, from number two, they're gonna to have to divide, divide that total by the amount of people in your group. You're just gonna assume that they're gonna split it evenly to make it easier on them. And then you'll look here. So like I said, all the kids should be doing this in the, within the group, not just one. But as a teacher, if you're working at this particular station, it'll definitely be helpful to kind of guide them. And if you have support in your room, you could have the other teacher at the um, Bed Bath & Beyond station because there could be some issues along the way there too. All right, and then the last station is our unit price comparison station, which uh, my kids have already done uh, multiple times. So we have th two different prices here. Um, a lot of times you're gonna have to convert your um, measurements as well, which you would have to do in the real world. On a separate sheet of paper, which I would give them to them, they would have a list as to which one's better. So when looking at milk, is it better for 98 cents per quart or uh, 402 per gallon? And then we have some other things in here like soft drinks and water, um, $9.52 for a 24 uh, pack or $4.25 for a 12 pack. Um, all these are laminated. So in some cases, if you wanna mo modify it that the kids can write right on here, um, they could obviously wipe it off with um, a whiteboard eraser. Uh, I have two of these. You can even do up to three or four if you want each kid to do it. But this is great because this is something that I know as a consumer myself, even though my wife does most of the shopping, who does it very well, by the way, um, comparing prices, you're not always gonna go to the same store if it's cheaper somewhere else. 
sometimes you just go where the more expensive one is out of convenience but the goal is to try to get these kids to be you know smarter with their money even though they're in, in middle school but like i said this could work for any grade honestly it could work for high school you could easily simplify this down for um some uh late elementary kids but i think it works great the kids uh are gonna have a great time with this as they're, they're very excited for it so um you know if you're actually going to use this in class or think you're going to use it uh, leave me a comment below see see some things that you might uh kind of predict as uh some issues i would love to hear some feedback otherwise enjoy use all those resources i'm, I'm giving you